Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Ask the Nanny's Recipes Galore. Today we are going to be making some lazy lasagna. Yes, um, this is one of those recipes when you don't feel like going to the store, you have most of the ingredients and you substitute something. Yeah, that was me. So what I did was, um, what you're gonna need is some linguine noodles or spaghetti or whatever noodles you have. And uh, you're gonna need them cooked. These are my cooked noodles. You see that? Cooked noodles. And you're gonna need your favorite marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce or do like I did. I combined my marinara sauce and my meat and my vegetables all in one pot and this is my meat sauce, so I don't need any extra meat. If you want to add meat to it, I suggest sausage or pepperoni or beef. You can add that too. And you're gonna need some cheese, cottage cheese or ricotta cheese. Um, and some other cheese to top. I have some pizza cheese, which is mozzarella and Parmesan. It's a mixture of the two. So we're gonna put that on top. Now, since everything is already cooked, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these noodles that we already have and uh, cooked, make sure they are cooked, and we're just gonna put them and layer them in the bottom of my bowl. You're gonna need a casserole dish to put this in, so and make sure it's kind of deep because you're gonna layer it. So, I'm just picking this up with my hands so that it won't get too, uh, it'll separate and it won't be sticky, sticking together. So let me show you what I have. This is my first layer right here. Now, I am going to put some meat sauce over that. Just spread it on there generously. If you don't want meat, you can do this without the meat and just put your marinara sauce on top. But I am a meat eater, my husband likes meat, so I put meat in mine. And there we go. Let me show you what it looks like. That's what your second, your meat sauce. You see from the side of your noodles here and your meat sauce here. Now we're gonna add some cottage cheese. I'm gonna make a layer of cottage cheese. I just like to dump some out so that I could make it easier to spread. And we just spread it on top just like this. And there we go. And there you have it. So you have three layers. Now we're gonna add some more noodles on top. Just kind of spread a thin layer across there because I'm gonna need some more meat sauce and some cheese to fit in this pot. Here we go. We have another layer. Can you see that? Our layers of noodles, meat sauce, cheese, and then some more noodles. Now we're gonna add some meat on top of this. Spread a little meat sauce around on top of this. It's so simple, so easy, and there we go. Now, all we need is our last layer of cheese, and then we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees, and we're gonna cook it until the cheese turns all nice and golden brown on top. It's gonna melt. And it's gonna be so yummy. So, 
I'm just gonna sprinkle this cheese out over here. If you are a cheese lover, feel free to add extra cheese. And we are almost done. There you go. And by the way, this is a, how many cups is this? This is an eight ounce bag of pizza cheese. And you're done. And you're done with your lazy lasagna. You see the layers? Let me bring it up closer so you can see the layers in there. So we have a layer of uh, linguine noodles. We have a layer of meat sauce. We have a layer of cottage cheese, another layer of noodles, another layer of meat sauce, and cheese on top. And now we're ready to go into the oven for 300 on 350 degrees for I would say between 20 to 25 minutes that's how long it takes for the cheese to melt everything else is already done so leave it in there for 20 to 25 minutes and then let it cool for 20 minutes before you cut it we got to cut it like just like you would lasagna in squares it is so so yummy so that is all I have for you today. Um, if you would like this recipe, please follow me on my YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash ask the nanny. You can also find uh, my cookbook on my website at atnanny.com. It's only $9.99. It's a digital cookbook. There's about 30 recipes in there. And because it's digital, you can download it from the Google App Store. If you have a Google uh, uh, Android, you can download it from the Google App Store, or you can download it to your phone from uh, my your phone, your tablet, your uh, computer from my webpage atnanny.com. And please be sure to subscribe while you're at my YouTube page. Subscribe, follow me. And uh, we will see you all next week on another Recipes Galore.